On the 29th of September, here in Singapore, we have three major title fights, including an IBO world title fight between Paula Sambunda and Mohamed Ridwan. But now, I want to introduce you to a fight that's got potential fight of the night. The first challenger is all the way from France. His name is Abdella Karoum. A short record so far in his career of three wins and three KOs. He's fighting and challenging for the IBO Oceana welterweight title. Please welcome Abdel Karoum. Good to see you, Abdella. How Good are you? Good to see you. Good to you. The champion, the current title holder of this belt before me now, with a record, again, a short career so far in the pro ranks, with a record of four fights, four wins, all of by KO, with just one draw. He is the current IBO welterweight Oceana champion, all the way from Malaysia. Please welcome Hugh Kang Fai. Hello. Welcome, Kang. How are you? Hey. Direct from the ring, Singapore. Welcome to Before the Bell. So, Abdel, tell me, what's your thoughts going and challenging for this title? You've had a very short career so far, and these things happen quite quickly, and I've made this match happen. What's your thoughts on Kang Fai, and do you have the skills and what it takes to take this belt? Yeah, of course, I have the skills. I have a potential to take this belt. I work very hard for that. I do a lot of sacrifice. Honestly, it's like... I have three fights in account, but I have experience in boxing, in amateur career. And today I have this opportunity, and I will take this belt. I mean, you're more, you're more like the local guy here, even though you're from France. You know, you, you work and you train here. Um, you're managed here by Golden Gloves Asia. You know, are doing a great job with you, and they've accepted this fight, you know, again, very, very early on in your career. Uh, and Kang is known as, as the mean machine, as you know, and as he, as he uh, sits here in front of you right now, is a hard-hitting guy with the potential to go on and become a world champion. Does that phase you at all? No. My team, they know I'm ready for that. This is why they say they accept this fight, and they know I'm ready for this fight. I respect Kang Fai, but you know, the tough guys, I fought a lot of tough guys, and it's just one more. And Kang Fai, you know, you've got your challenger here. The first time you'll be um, defending your title that you won uh, last year uh, against the guy from Thailand. But that, as I remember, was a, was a good stoppage uh, early on in, I think, the second or the third round. Um, Am I right? First round. First round, so first, first round. round. There we go. Again, a fantastic short record. Even though, even though you've got a, a, only four fights, all by a way of knockout, apart from that one as you will report it yourself, controversial draw on the last show. What's your thoughts about uh, Abdel Karoum? And, you know, do you think you have what it takes to, to show him that he's not ready to challenge you for this title? I think, I think he's tough, but, you know, it's uh, boxing. Tough, tough just isn't enough. I think we have a similar style and all, but I, I feel that I'm a little better than him in every aspect. Whatever he can do, I can do better. I think I'm better, I'm faster, I'm stronger, but ultimately, I think I'm smarter than him. I've seen the way he fight, I see holes in his game and I plan to capitalize on them. So Kang, does all this media attention and all the press, does that affect you at all as a fighter? There is pressure, of course, uh, fighting in front of so many people, but in the end when you get into the ring, my world is only that space within the ring, nowhere else, nothing else exists and, and, and I'm in the zone and I forget about everything else. Mm -hmm. What about yourself, Abdul? I mean, does all this media hype and all the pressure and the large scale of the venue being Marina Bay Sands, 
Does that affect you as a fighter? They have a little bit of pressure, sure. But this is why I work out every day. I like the show. I like the, they have a lot of people. I like, it's just the time to show who I am. Honestly, I don't have big pressure. It's just, when you go in the ring, it's just me and him. And what happened outside, I don't mm. care. It doesn't matter. I just stay focused on my fight. I commend you both, you know, Abdul uh, and Kang on your professionalism, this early in your career is being thrust onto a big platform. I mean, the way I make a match is, is I want people to see a real strong 50-50 fight. Both of you guys are coming here to win this title. And I have to commend you on that, and I feel very proud to put this match together. A lot of the audience out there, a lot of the fans are going to say, hey, this, is, this fight's not ready yet. You know, these guys haven't been through the mill, they haven't faced anybody. What, what would your answer be to that? What, what can the fans and people coming to watch the Roar of Singapore 5, the Kings of Lion City, what can they expect from you, Abdul? Just for me, I will be on the fight and I just show them they are wrong because we work out, we are ready, we just uh, show them. Good. And the same question for you, Kang Fai. I mean, you know, a lot of people are going to be saying, you know, you're not ready, you know, you shouldn't be fighting at this level. I mean, uh, what, what's your answer to the fans and the critics out there? I think a lot of fighters want, to f want easy fights. They want to fight bums all their lives. Some of them will have uh, 20 wins, maybe, I don't know, 50 knockouts, 20 wins, no losses, but they've been fighting bums and yeah. I, don't, I don't want to be a bum fighter. I want yeah. to challenge myself and that's why we're fighting him. How do you feel as a fighter you know, fighting on such a big stage, such a big venue in MBS, knowing that one of you potentially could lose their own. It doesn't matter if it's in France or in Singapore or, or another country. I just want to fight. I just want to fight a good fighter, grow up. And it's from my public, it's better, but it's from front of Singapore. Mm -hmm. It would be nice to. I don't have a pressure to to fight in MBS or another place, for me it's the same. The ring is the ring. Mm -hmm. So what, what's your plan for, for Abdul? I mean, is it someone you think you can knock out? Anyone can be knocked out. Um, my plan is just, just to go in there and do my thing. Just let, just let everything happen. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not going to go in with a specific plan, a specific move I want to go. I'll just do my training, work on things, improve here and there, and go in there and let it, let it happen. Okay, what about yourself? You think you can stop Ken Fai, take his belt, you can make him eat the canvas? Is that part of your plan? My plan is to take the belt. This is my only plan. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter if it's by knockout or by points. Most important for me is to do every round with high intensity to work and to take this belt. Yeah. Abdul's very confident about taking your title, Kang Fai. I mean, how do you feel about that and what message have you got to tell I Abdul? Mean, you, can have, you can be confident, you can have a game plan, but in the end, it's different when you get hit in the face, especially by me. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm excited for this fight, man. Now I'm more excited. <laughs> yeah, good, good, good. This is what I like, it's what I like. Now, a lot of people do so on the other side and say, I don't see Kang Fai really as a, that much of a boxer due to all his MMA and martial arts background. I mean, how does that make you feel? Have you got a message back for Abdul on that? I think my fighting style is not set in stone yet. I believe I'm still learning. Mm -hmm. Every fight, I'm a different fighter. Every fight, I go back and work on the different things. And you see me today fighting one style, the next fight, you'll see something different. Mm -hmm. I'm always working on something. Mm -hmm. You'll see, you'll see. What can the fans expect? What can your fans expect in Malaysia? I mean, what can expect, we expect? Expect a different me, a much better me. Better, mm -hmm. faster, smarter. We'll see. Okay. What about you, Abdul? What can we expect from you and in, in your, in your appearance, first time on Ringstar? What, what are you going to bring that's going to impress everybody? I will show I come from France and I don't do boxing for the show. I do boxing because I love to fight. This is my area, the ring. Mm -hmm. And I take so many pleasure to fight and I would take so many pleasure to take this belt. As you both stare at each other right now, I mean, I want to ask you now is, is I want you to give a message about 29th September. I want you now to tell him how you feel about going in the ring with this guy. You can believe all you want, but the spell is mine. As much as we like to think that dreams always come true, they don't. And 
September 29, you'll find out. You think you can knock him out? Me? Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Your joke. Yeah, listen, they have a lot of guys told me I will knock him out. But never happened. In my amateur career, in my sparring, in my professional career, never happened. Same here. <laughs> yeah, but you have one draw, no? A draw is not a knockout. Yeah. We're talking about knockouts. Yeah, no, you have a draw. You, you have you losses. Have no, I don't have losses. In the amateur scene? Yeah, in the amateur, but we don't have. You don't have a losses in amateur. I have one. You have three. Yeah, but who you fight? Who champion you, you fight? Which champion did Nobody. you fight? <laughs> yeah, this is why I have a loss because I learned, and this is why that happened when I start boxing, and it never happened again because I work very hard for be the best, and I will be the best. I will take this belt. Okay. I like I like that I like that you believe in that. Good I believe you. because I know. Put put your sponsor logos on your shoe because that's how they're gonna see when you're lying on the floor. No, I think they will see the sponsor on my shoe just when I jump because I win. Okay, and when I go, you know, on the walls and I do that with my, my new belt, they will see my sponsor. But you, be careful. There will be a lot of blood on your shoes. Okay, don't go yeah, slide. I think you're careful. right. There will be a lot of blood on my shoes, but. It's Not your my blood. blood, it's your blood. <laughs> we will see. Gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us today on Before the Bell. I wish you all the best for your fight on the 29th of September. So with that, I'd like to say thank you, Kang Fai. Thank good you. luck on the 29th of September on thank retaining you. your title. Abdul, good luck on challenging Kang Fai for the title. And may the best man win. Good luck, guys.